My name is Jay Nichols. My friends call me Dr. Jay. I'm a marine biologist and I'm senior scientist with Ocean Conservancy and a research associate at the California Academy of Sciences, California's oldest research institution. I love sharing science and sharing the natural world with as many people as possible through stories and hands-on experiences and experiments. I just got back from Costa Rica where we explored the rainforest and the coast. We checked out leatherback sea turtles, planted trees, and studied scarlet macaws. I'd love to share some of that experience with you and take you on this virtual expedition to Costa Rica. Thanks this for joining me. This is a baby me. green sea turtle. She's the size of my hand. She's white on the bottom, dark brown on the top. She was born just a few months ago. We're going to release her right here on the beach out front. We're in Costa Rica and this turtle is going to go off out into the ocean and in 30 years she'll come back. She'll be 300 pounds and she'll lay eggs right here just like her mom did. So if you're interested in joining us on one of these expeditions and seeing a turtle like this, check out seeturtles.org and you can sign up for a sea turtles expedition. We're here at this iguana farm in Costa Rica and these beautiful green iguanas are being raised to release back into the wild to repopulate uh, the iguana population in the forest around here. It's an indigenous group that's doing this project and they believe that their god, Cebu, has given them these iguanas to take care of them for their skin, for their meat, for their fat that they use for medicine. They have this beautiful relationship with these amazing animals. Look how green he is. He fits right in into the forest and he camouflages himself to, to hide in these beautiful green trees. And they get bigger and they get more brown and gray and they blend in with the trunks of the trees when they get to be so big that they can't even stand on the branches. So we're gonna take this little guy back into his, his cage and he's gonna grow up and they're gonna release him in a couple years back into the forest where he'll live 30 years, 35 years and be part of this beautiful uh, Costa Rican ecosystem. Protect the edge. Hope. So there is hope. There's a lot of hope. We, have an, we need to start an ocean revolution. We need to increase our knowledge. We used to understand the, the, the ocean as impenetrable, mysterious, boundless. Now we know it to be fragile, still mysterious, but less so, but finite. Dilution is not the solution to pollution, and the ocean is not an endless bounty. But the technology is telling us things about the ocean that we didn't know. And I'm not saying that technology is going to save the day. But we used to track sea turtles with weather balloons back in the 1950s, and just simple fl flipper tags. Then we tracked this turtle in 1996 named Adelita, named her after a fisherman, a fisherman's daughter, put her into the ocean, and she took off and swam all the way from Baja, California, Mexico, across the ocean to Japan. Millions of kids tracked her on the internet and became ocean revolutionaries in the process. They connected their hearts to this turtle as she made it all the way across the Pacific Ocean. The first animal ever tracked across an ocean basin. Amazing thing, mind-blowing stuff. Now people study lots of animals. Scott Schaefer studying these little, little um, shearwaters and they're swimming all over the Pacific Ocean. We didn't know that before. Barbara Block studying these bluefin tuna, learning amazing things about these migrators. The explosion of information related to studying these animals, to tracking these animals, is amazing. We know where they go, but we wanted to know more. So we put some cameras on their backs. And in this case, here's a green turtle. We used to think green turtles just ate algae and seagrass. But now we know they also eat sea pens. Sea pen. There's a sea pen. Looks good. Whoa. Get. Got it. All right. Sea pens are invertebrates. This is this is the exciting stuff for a sea turtle freak. I'm telling you. The Critter Cam team has put these cameras on more than 50 different species uh, and deployed them 500 times around the world. Here's a penguin. We used to think penguins uh, fed it at the, the ocean floor. Now we know they feed on the surface of the ice. Amazing, amazing stuff, breakthroughs. There's grandma and grandpa exploring the ocean, the deep ocean, um, back in 1935. And I just want, I'm gonna, um, because of this late start, I'm gonna be a little bit longer than, than the, um, the timekeepers are saying, so bear with me on that. Um, so, you know, the beautiful thing about grandma and grandpa is they, they always held hands when they dove. <laughs> Now, we got bigger toys, and you know, it, there's this thing about men and their toys, right? Well, 
You know who has the best toys? Sylvia Earle, by an ear. A woman, a grandmother. She's amazing. She's got the best ocean toys. We we now know that the ocean bottom is much more diverse than we thought. These primoids, these sea fans on the sea floor in the Gulf of Alaska, 2,700 meters deep. Down there is a forest, a rainforest, ocean. We're, we're studying the sea floor. We've got technology to study the surface of the ocean. We've got buoys all around the around the 